Hello. Um, so I came across an amazing story the other day in which Galileo shows that all masses fall at the same speed uh, using two pi contradiction, right? And it's an amazing story and um, I never heard of it before. And uh, in an earlier video, I had actually shown you how you can use two pi contradiction to prove that there are infinitely many primes, right? And um, this is another great example of how you can use proof by contradiction or reductio ad absurdum, as I think it's pronounced in Latin, uh, to show that, um, you know, to prove something, right? Um, and the typical way to do this is to assume, you, you assume that the opposite of what you want to prove is true, and then you reach an absurd or weird contradiction or conclusion, right? And which, uh, which implies that your assumption was false and the opposite is true, okay? So in Galileo's case, uh, at the time, everyone thought that heavier masses fall faster. So he said, okay, fine, let that be the case. Uh, and so you take two masses, big M, a heavier mass and a smaller mass, and you drop them from a tower, an infinitely high tower if you want, and M would fall faster than M, right? But suppose you actually tie them with a string and you drop them. And at some point, because it's a very high tower, it's high enough, such that M is far, far, much farther uh, below M. So this is, there's some tension in the string, right? And the string is taut. And uh, now the, the string is actually pulling back on the big mass M, big M. And um, if, but if it were, so M actually falls slower than it would have been falling freely, right? Because the tension is acting against gravity. So M doesn't fall as freely, right? And, um, but at the same time, M plus M is actually greater than big M. And therefore the whole unit should be falling faster than if M were falling, um, these masses were falling by themselves. And so, M would be falling faster than if it were, uh, you know, were falling freely. And so you reach a contradiction whereby you, you're saying that M should be falling slower or is M going faster, right? And uh, both can't obviously be true. And therefore our premise, our original premise that M falls faster than, big M falls faster than small M is false. Uh, and in fact, all uh, masses fall at the same speed, um, at the same rate, which is now, as we know, the acceleration just, just depends on the acceleration due to gravity. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you know of any other proof by contradictions or any other interesting proofs, um, tell me in the comments and then we can come so we can discuss or we can do a call discussing them, right? And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Bye.